that's sixties. This one? Oh my that's gosh, gorgeous. that's the sixties all over. You would be a flower child. I love that. this. <laughs> I, I love, love it. it. Goods and anything that fits in this bag is just five dollars for everything. Oh, those last ones. Those look homemade, like they're someone's personal. This little soup one's really cute. Eighty-six. Maybe I'll come back for that one if I have room in my bag. I picked up a basket. I just put them in a basket yeah. last week. So this is week two of this. That's why um, she said it's a little more picked over than last week. All right, so look at this vintage dress. I love the accordion mm. pleats and then the That's ruffle beautiful. pleats. So pretty. That is gorgeous. I think I'm going to need that. <laughs> oh, just take it. Oh, that take up a lot of your room. I don't think it bag. will. I don't think it will at all. And then this one is so fun. Oh my gosh, that's so rich. Yeah, I she looks it. adorable in it. You know what that looks like to me? That looks like stuff like a retro. It is. Yeah, it yeah. totally looks like 70s, right? So much. And you know what? That's 60s. This one? Oh my gosh, that's, that's the 60s all over. You would be a flower child. I love that. this. <laughs> I, I love, love it. it. This one for sure. Oh, so, so this one's really cool because it's lined, so it's nice and warm. And then look at how like perfectly distressed that is. Wow, yeah. And it's a vintage tag, made okay. in USA, steel. Okay. I think that's fun. I might need a bigger bag. <laughs> <laughs> Real leather. Let's see. Genuine leather. With real leather though, you gotta smell it and make sure it smells good. Mm -hmm. That one smells fine. That's kind of cool. I think it's cool. cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is though. Gum. <laughs> right there. But I like the foxy bit of that. Ugly Christmas sweater. Ooh, this is fun. Oh yeah. This needs some major sweater shaving. But that's not too hard, and I think it's such a fun style. That is so cute. I need to get that one. Throw it in the bag. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> Throw it in the bag. That's cute. That's Angora. That's stuff I used to wear. It's lamb's wool and Angora. Good call. I know. I called it. It's not in perfect condition, though. I don't want to clean it. Oh, I should get this for Rachel. Yeah. It's from Nova Scotia. Oh, and I wonder if she would want that. I'll have to send her a picture. Oh, this is a good one. The Hanes sweaters. People just like these because it's like a vintage pullover. And this is a great, like, there's no stains on it. Wow. Oh, Laura Ashley, y'all. Laura Ashley is good, but it's got stains, so I'm going to leave this one behind. That's so, cute. It's like a little German thingamajig. I love it. It's so like, fun. It's got German words. What? Oh, it's really stained though. But, yeah. That's fun. I wonder if Grandma could get it out. She's good at that. <laughs> okay. Kissing words out, cooking down. Ah! Jeez. This is so cottagecore right now. Oh, well, yes. It's so cottagecore either way, but like the sleeves and that collar. Yeah. Oh, it has stains though. Oh, but it's white. Grandma can get it. Poor grandma. <laughs> I don't want her to hate me. New suit. New suit. That's iron. I get it. It's gray, huh? Just leaving my bag behind for now. Oh, look at this. That look is at adorable. Umbrella. I want to keep it. That is adorable. It's linen too. A little bit of everything. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. That's so cute. 
Oh wait, that's not a stain. That's adorable. I'm getting that. That's cute. See if the bottoms are in there. There's a little stain on the back, but that doesn't bother me as much. A beaded number. It does have some air flaws, but it's just so that's good. Cool. It's got a zip. Wahlberg, made in Japan. I feel like I've looked that up before. Ooh. I know it's worth what I'm paying for it here, at least. I always look to see if it's genuine leather. This is the St. John's Day. That's kind of how I decide with bags. This is a really cool style. But I like to make sure it's real leather. These church badge sales are the best. They are. Made in China. Hey, Charles, I think <laughs> you did well. Yeah, I got a bunch of ties at the end and this purse, and then I threw a sweater in. And my mom has some prints underneath her armpit that we also got some photo prints. So I did really good. <laughs> Five dollar bag. Oh, I gotta pull his mask For down. the win, yeah, <sighs> there she is. Hey, it's a new day. Obviously I am back home and I was just getting ready to process this inventory, um, sort it out, wash it, steam it, hang it up, all that goodness. And I thought before I did that, I would show you what I got from that amazing fill -a bag garage sale. So this is actually a different trash bag and I have taken some stuff out of this and I left it down in South Florida for my grandma. So there was like a ruffle top I showed you, a few dresses, um, a few tops, just a few things that I left for my grandma to see if she could get the stains out. And if not, it's okay because I figured out my average cost per item and it was 11 cents per item. So I'm really happy with that cost of goods. And if the stains don't come out, it's not the end of the world. I just figured, I don't know, if they came out, I could sell them because I found some really beautiful pieces and I just had to save them from the landfill. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the haul and I'll show you what I got to list later this week. All right, so the first thing is this really cute set. I can't remember if I showed this in the video or not. The brand is Elif, Elif, I don't know, but it really looks vintage. It's like this suit coat, this blazer top, and it has this really cool detailing in the back and front. The buttons are kind of like, I don't know, off-centered. And it has a matching, well, first it has a tie. I'm not sure if this goes around the waistline or if it goes around the blazer. I'm thinking the waistline it has these matching pants but the pants are kind of like wide leg, almost like gaucho style. They look like they're supposed to be cropped. So that's like just a really fun style for those. I showed this dress to you earlier, but I just think it's so much prettier up close. So I just took this flower off because I felt like it wasn't really doing anything for the dress. It was just kind of like destroyed. But then when I took it off, it also took off the bow. So I might just have to like put a few stitches to add that back there or just include it with it. We'll see how I feel. But anyway, this dress is just gorgeous. It is um, like a flutter sleeve, but then it has this flutter under the armpit as well dress. It's an accordion style, so pretty. And then underneath is like this mauve, mauve color. Now I did notice while I was looking through the bag earlier that there is a few flaws. So there's a little snag there and then there's a little hole so that really stinks just a little hole in the lining and a snag but other than that it does seem to be in really good condition so i'll just disclose that the zipper is metal no zipper looks plastic but um it does have a union label says made in the usa lot seven eight i'd say this fits smaller than a seven eight i'd say it runs a little small maybe a four so i will definitely try this on and model this well, I will probably try this on and model this just to kind of give the buyer a better reference for size, but I just love the style of this. I think this would just be a great occasion dress for someone who wants to wear a vintage gown. Okay guys, this one is so fun. I'm hoping I can clean this one up a bit. I just think it needs to be washed, um, but it's this just really cool boho hippie style. I'm thinking 1970s dress. And yeah, it has a metal zipper pull, but then the, the track itself is plastic. Um, let's see if it has a union label. It says hand wash, 11, 12, no union label. The stitching on the inside, you can see the stitching, so it could be like custom made, but it, um, I think 
it could have been like a catalog order because it does have a tag so it's not like handmade at home anyway it has this really cool detailing in the front this um, really fun lace detail tiered and then it's lined yeah it's all the way lined but the the armpits are kind of like pilled and worn so i'm gonna have to figure out what to do there i will probably sweater shave it and then maybe kind of try to stain treat that a little bit because it does have some wear there but because the pattern is so crazy and bold i don't think the armpit discoloring is like a deal breaker on this all right this sweater i have to wear a few times before i sell it because it is just too fun look at these ducks and these hearts i love this it's carriage court that's the brand it looks like a size small but i don't see a size tag on it so anyway i will eventually sell this but i do want to wear it <laughs> once or twice just because it's such a fun sweater this jacket i thought was a really good find it's a denim jacket and um it's lined so it's perfect for this time of year for people who live anywhere but florida <laughs> and the brand is steel i don't see a size okay it says size 40 and it's made in the usa 100 percent cotton but anyway i just thought that lining was really nice and it's like perfectly faded and distressed which is really cool i love the fading on denim Oh, and look, the inner collar has that, um, what's it called? Like a lumberjack print gingham check plaid. So anyway, I'm going to wash that up because it has a little bit of an odor now, but I think it will look really great when it comes out. All right. I always pick up these sweaters when I see them. It's just a Hanes comfort sweater. I'm not sure how old this one is. It's assembled in Mexico. So I don't think it's like nineties vintage, but it's older. But anyway, it's just a regular pullover Hanes sweater. These have sold for me in the past. So I just grabbed it, hoping to make maybe 15 bucks on this. Um, yeah, so not as much profit on that as the other items I've showed you. I'm not really sure on the comps and everything, but I'm trying, I'm thinking at least $25 a piece for the other items at least, but I'll probably list higher, hoping to make more of a profit. And I still need to do some research on these items. So if you wanna see what I listed them for, check out my Poshmark closet. All right, I saw this this tag and I was like, I recognize that name. Where have I heard it before? So the last time I found this brand, it was Velvet by Graham and Spencer, but this is just Graham and Spencer and it's a blazer set. So it's got like this really low scoop neck, button front blazer. It's like a charcoal gray color and it comes with these matching like career style, straight leg, um, wide leg pants with a flat back. Um, I wonder what size they are. Let's see. So size 10. So yeah, I just thought that was a really nice set. Um, probably one of the few things I got that's not vintage. So that was a fun find. This I might have to keep for myself. It's just really cute. And I feel like I need to wear it a few times. It's this linen embroidered button front top, 100% linen. It's Lauren, Ralph Lauren. It just says petite. So I just think that's so cute. Um, next, I picked up this Harley Davidson Gattis, Gettysburg, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania Battlefield T. Um, it does have like a bleach spot on the front. I don't know if someone maybe would want to do like a reverse tie dye on this or something, but I'll probably only list it for around 15 bucks because of that flaw. But even flawed Harley Davidson shirts still sell. It looks like this is an older one, maybe. Um, yeah, it's made in the USA, so it might be from the 90s so or early 2000s. We'll see. And I am not sure what Shannon's is. I still need to look this up, but this is from 1994. And I just really liked the logo on it and the color. It's like this greenish, tealish color, and it's like perfectly faded from 1994 the perfect shirt company, 180% cotton, 20% polyester made in the USA. Anyway, I just thought that was really good quality and I figured I'd try to sell it because it just looks nice. That's the clothing from the haul, but I did get some hard goods. So I got some prints that my mom grabbed at the last minute. We, they were about to close and she's like, Oh, these are cute. And I was like, okay, just throw them in the bag. So I'm not sure how these will do, but they were 
basically free, so we just throw them in. Um, there's a little, just a little squirrel print. Um, I'll probably sell these really cheap unless I find out some more details. This has Richard V. Sebring, the Sherwood Forest House. It's got like a, yeah, just a little sketched house. Sweden and Norway map. This looks like it was torn out of a book maybe. And it does have a rip in it. And Denmark is on the back. Don't know if that's worth anything. This print is pretty cool. Richard D. Heffron from 1998. It's like these, um, I don't know what those are. They're like prickly flowers with a monarch butterfly on it. So I did sell a print recently. Um, it was like the Ernest Hemingway house picture. I sold it for like 20 bucks, just the print. So I don't know, maybe we'll see how these can do. This is by Candice A. Cacho from 2004. It's just like grapes, like vineyard style print. This one's really pretty. It's the same lady from 2005, Candice Rotto. And it, the title of it is, oh, her, I guess her other name is Sapphire Grace. But anyway, this picture is really pretty. It's like a watercolor print and it does have a nice texture to it. Um, it's a picture of like a house with some rocks. And then this one I'm not so sure about, but um, I don't know, someone might really appreciate it. There's two of them. And it's just this little girl sitting on a bench, looking cute. Um, that's from 2010. So I don't know, we'll see. I will probably just list those and see what happens with them. Hopefully I can make like five bucks a piece on them, maybe more. Um, I got some CDs for my car if you want to see what I got. Um, I love C.S. Lewis. This is um, one of his books on audio. It is Mere Christianity. I can't wait to listen to this. I've heard it's really good. Um, maybe after I listen to it, I'll sell it. I'm not sure what it's worth, but it was fill a bag. It was like 10 cents per item. Um, Christmas with Perry Como. Can't wait to listen to that. A Wilderness Christmas. It sounds like it's just a bunch of earthy traditional Christmas songs like Green Sleeves, The First Noel. So something relaxing to listen to in the car and big band hits. So that should be fun. So like 1920s style music, I'm assuming. We'll see. Let's see if it's even in there. Wouldn't that be funny if it wasn't in there? Yeah, it's not in there. <laughs> Let me check the other ones. This one is in here. This one is in here. I don't know. That one did feel kind of light. So I was like, I don't think that one's in there. So, oops. Hopefully all of the C.S. Lewis CDs are in here. All right. Um, I did get some ties. Wow. I got a ton of ties, but this is a Tommy Hilfiger tie. It feels like silk. Yeah. hundred percent silk. Donald Trump tie with some kind of cool crest logo in there. Just a really pretty red tie. hundred percent silk. Another Tommy Hilfiger tie, but this does have one tiny snag in the front. I don't know if I'll list that or just sell it for a lot less. We'll see. Alan Sully tie made in the USA. I don't know. It just looked like nice quality blue tie. I'll go through these rather fast guys. I don't want to Xylos George Mikado. I just thought the print was cool. This is a Nautica tie, red and white polka dots, really cool print. That does have a few little snags on it. I'm seeing now. We'll see if I list that one. Another Nautica tie, red, white, and blue. Nice classic tie. Designer silks, handcrafted, made in the USA tie. This looks like a vintage label, I'm guessing. We'll see. Um, this one also looks vintage. Wembley tie. And it has like this really pretty silky looking paisley print on it. This is the men's store tie. It just has this really pretty diamond print on it. And then the last one I got is just a novelty tie. It's a Star Trek tie by Ralph Marlin, made in the USA. I thought that was really fun for some Trekkie out there. All right, I also got this little clutch bag. I'm pretty sure I shot, showed this in the thrift with me. It's from Wahlberg, made in Japan. It does need some repair. I might just list it as is and have whoever buys it, you know, repair that, we'll see. This wooden leaf thing my mom found when you're getting ready to leave. It looks like some type of teak wood or something, but kind of mid-century styled, really fun little decor piece. Um, I got this rabbit just because it was new with tags. I figured somebody might want this closer to Easter. It's like a nice weighted, 
rabbit. It's just Cotton & Co. I don't know how much this will go for. I'd be happy with, you know, five, ten bucks. <laughs> and then this was just a random buy. Um, they're cats. And I think these are covers for your, like, stove top. But I feel like someone could hang these on their wall if they really liked cats a lot. I don't know, guys. I just can't pass up a good cat thing. Maybe I need to keep these. Maybe I shouldn't keep them. <laughs> All right, I got a few things for myself too. This was at a garage sale we went to afterwards. Actually, I got a cup. A lot of my cups are mismatched, my glasses I mean. So I liked the print on that one. And then I got myself these Tupperware containers. These are definitely vintage. They're little measuring cups, so not even containers. And then I got this Costa Rica coffee bag to resell. It has like these wooden handles and it's um, like a coffee bag. So anyway. We'll see how that does. I just thought it was neat. Um, I have seen some people like Tiny Acorn style something like this with one of her vintage dresses. So if you don't follow her on YouTube, definitely check out her channel. Highly recommend her. But anyway, I thought this was just kind of cute. So I picked it up for like a buck at a garage sale. And that is my haul from that fill a bag sale and a few other garage sale finds as you just saw. Um, the other items that I was not, I don't have with me, my grandma has, so maybe after she stain treats those, I'll show them to you. Um, my mom also threw a few things in there that she kept. She found some sewing stuff that she wanted, and I gave her a sewing pattern that it's a dress I want her to make me, so we'll see if that happens. Anyway, that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you have a great day. Bye!